since it all began in 2013, Teen Titans Go has reached 400 episodes. I mean, the show started in 2013, became Warner Brothers' highest rated, rated and longest rated show ever made, appealing to kids from Gen Z and Gen Alpha. Teen Titans Go has been a, and, all, and has became a no stranger for every weight on the internet. Now, despite the Teen Titans Go, has been one of the most us hated cartoons of the 2010s, and it is is still very popular with kids now. There was a recent episode where they made fun of the lunatics. <coughs> oh, now for those of you that don't know, Lunatics Unleashed is an old 2005 cartoon I watched watch when I was in kindergarten. This show first started back when I was in kindergarten, though. From fond memories of watching the show. This show was a really described like almost from the makers of Static Shock, but with Looney Tunes characters. The I saw reminds me a lot of Static Shock though. A lot of people didn't like this show, but I actually one of the few person who used to love this show watching Kids WB back in the day. Yep. Cause the Kids WB was one channel I ca well, I would watch besides CW or Education Kids, Kids Kid. Because I didn't have cable until growing up, until I was in third grade. Now, now let's talk about the... <coughs> let's go back on the topic. So, one of the most newer episodes uh, came out recently was when they, um... was the curly how they made fun of the, made fun of the lunatics of the lunatics because the episode was called a teen type lunatics i think it is well um i also apologize for my voice because i've been sick recently <coughs> i can't point from being sick now now they honestly tried making fun of the lunatics by um replacing the old lunatics with the teen titans because in what this one cut scene where the meteor that hits on metropolis in 2772 actually hits the lunatics but then if that's what they got replaced with Okay, so the Teen Titans, so all the other Teen Titans, Teen Titans got hit by the meteor, and they try to become bootleg lunatics. Yeah, by the way, the blue lunatic was probably from the original. It was originally planned for the <coughs> the show when it was coming, when it was uh, coming soon. But when the lunatics come out, Rev Runner was supposed to be blue, but they changed it. <coughs> made a lot of changes in <coughs> and just on the Warner Brothers 100th anniversary party also. So in last year, 2023, Warner Brothers reached Warner Brothers has reached 100, 100 years, <coughs> 100 years anniversary. And Warner Brothers reached 100 years, 100 years last year. They made an episode dedicated where Teen Titans go crossover with other forms of Warner Brothers Media, Hanna-Barbera, Johnny Quest, and even other Cartoon Network shows like Dexter's Lab, Billy and Mandy, <coughs> Tom and Jerry, the old Looney Tunes, so, <coughs> was it, was it, yeah, and even some other shows, Ben Ryan Jack, and the Gremlins, and many other pop culture references. Now, um, one more cra Now, like I said before, Teen Titans Go has reached 400 episodes, or reached 400 episodes recently. So, we're gonna talk, uh, <coughs> talk about it now. Since uh, Teen Titans Go has reached like 400 episodes, despite being around for like a whole decade, two decades since it first began, this show has been bittersweet for two decades though. But I'll just take a look. <coughs> I'm gonna take a look at the cameos and references in this episode. When they started singing the song, we can see other heroes like Batman, Wonder Woman, and Wonder Woman, and all the other DC Warner Brother villains on here on DC Comics. <coughs> and one of they and one reference I didn't expect on here is that they made fun of Static Shock. 
Yeah, believe it or not, Static Shock, one of my favorite childhood cartoons are on here. On here, too. Um, anyone remember Static Shock? Yeah, Static Shock was pretty much one of those shows that actually talked about social issues. Like, um, like the... <coughs> On the target kids who, who who got missing or like one of the kid like one episode of my favorite episodes is permafrost where this orphan girl who gets ice hours hours again hours it so she actually feels depressed that she lost her as her parents a long time ago due to a medical condition. This show is not afraid to reach the dark at times. Static shock made me cry. A lot as a kid. <coughs> but in Teen Titans Go, they just turn it into a big fat fucking joke. So let's uh, just look at this moment. <coughs> oh, fuck you, Teen Titans Go. Fuck Teen Titans Go. This show fucking sucks. Now, I know that all these crossover references and cameos are pretty insane, though. <coughs> but yeah, I think this is pretty insane that Teen Titans Go has surpassed the 400 episodes. Now, if we're being honest here, I almost thought this show ended at least several years ago, like in 2020 when COVID started. But nope, I was wrong. Damn, I can honestly imagine. <laughs> Aside from this, oh, but I, again, I can honestly imagine what other do kids nowadays are even tired of Teen Titans Go? Like, do kids still watch this show? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I mean, it makes me ask the question. As Jen, I mean, it makes me ask the question: What cartoons? What cartoons are these? What cartoons are these youngins even watching nowadays? Yeah, never mind. But anyway, thanks for watching. About to lose my breath because I've been so sick. But thanks for watching, anyways. <laughs>